Alrighty, everybody, for the win attach, you know what it is. Thank you very much for tuning in. So, the war campaign has got some brand new stuff for us. Um, when I talk about the war campaign, I talk about everything that is storyline based uh, for Battle for Azura. Um, that is storyline based, featuring the content that we're currently next to, uh, from the mission table to the quest lines to the chapters of those quest lines to um, outposts some world quests and uh, stuff like that um, basically what we've got in this video is our outposts are getting upgrades in patch 8.1 so I've released a video on how to get your outposts for our war campaigns and I've also released a video on how to upgrade your outposts in war campaigns and basically what happens when you get those upgrades we're now going to upgrade part 2 Greetings, traveler. So, if you go to the, it's the same thing for Alliance, you just gotta go to the emissary that is located next to your war campaign action. But I'm gonna be doing this from a Horde's perspective. Um, we get to expand our influence, which is basically a breadcrumb quest, just basically telling us that she has in her vendor uh, slots a couple of new items. So, for the Horde, for the Alliance, same thing, just different outposts. Um, we've got Outpost Upgrade, The Great Seal, which grants a mission to upgrade The Great Seal with a mission command table. Go ahead and purchase that for 500. We've got the Outpost Upgrade, Volpera Hideaway. Grants a mission to upgrade Volpera Hideaway in uh, Bolden uh, to grant access to a very fast caravan mount. And then the last one, which I can't purchase just yet, but I will be purchasing it before I end this video. Outpost Upgrade, Zuljan Ruins. Uh, use grants a mission to upgrade Zuljan Ruins in Nazmir to allow the lower buff to be applied whenever in the area. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get these missions completed. Alrighty everybody, bringing you back a, a long time later. Um, we got our mission reports completed, we got our missions completed on our mission command table. I used those three items from the Quartermaster. I um, did the missions with my followers and then I was given three quests very very similar to how we did the outposts and outpost upgrades from before. So these are the horde specific outpost upgrades. Um, well of course the other outpost upgrades that I did for the war campaign were horde specific as well but we went into alliance territory now we're staying in our own territory boosting up our horde specific outposts in the horde zones. So. We gotta go ahead and turn in these three mission reports after completing the missions. Uh, we're gonna inspect the mission command table at the Great Seal. We're gonna get this one as well. And we're gonna choose a lower boon from the altars of Zuljan Ruins. And then we're also gonna complete this quest. And then talk with the Caravan Master in at the Volpera Hideaway. So if I look at this first one, it is in Voldun. If I look at the second one, it is in Nazmir, and if I look at this one, it is in Zuldazar. I'm going to go to the Voldun one first, so I'll catch you guys there. Alright, so we've made it to Volpera Hideaway uh, within Voldun, so we're going to go ahead and talk to the Caravan Master. Um, I would like to talk... Okay, I would like to... Okay, tie the Caravan now. Right, I've already talked into him. Uh, outpost upgrade. Not 100% sure what's going on. Alright, and once you have turned in the quest, very similar to the Gronk looking guy and um... Stormsong Valley uh, for your horde outpost you get like a little mount type thing and you get to actually ride in a Volpera caravan It's actually really fast. It's gonna get you from point A to B as quickly as possible wherever you need to go uh, You got a minute to do so and the only thing that freaks me out about this is like if you look at the mounts in front which is Max and Molly uh, the two llamas that are, I don't even, are they alpacas or llamas? I have no clue. It's, what's great is you don't pull anything, but when you spin around, look at that, look at that. That, that just is, they're not even, they're not turning themselves. It just makes no sense, but hell yes, um, we've got an upgrade in Voldun. I'm happy about that. Sadly, this mount and this caravan doesn't jump, because that would have made total sense, because caravans can uh, tend to jump sometimes. Look at this, look at this. Look how, look, look at this. W what is going on? This is our upgrade fam, at least the other dude made sense. This is just like, why are they still running? Why are you running fam? 
Ah, oh, let's go ahead and upgrade the others. Alrighty, everybody, so we've made it to Zuljan Ruins uh, for this next outpost quest. It wants us to honor an altar at Zuljan Ruins. Uh, you can honor Kragwa, uh, the Shrine of Kragwa. You can honor Bwam Samdi. Uh, I don't think there's any others. No, there is not. And I'm definitely going to be honoring my boy Bomb Samdi. He's actually my favorite NPC in in the game right now. Besides Sylvanas, of course. So uh, once we have done that, I'm not 100% sure what's going on. But we get the Boon of Bomb Samdi, which is a buff. Killing an enemy has a chance to cast Bargain of Bomb Samdi. Bargain of Bwam Samdi is a curse that will explode and deal damage to all nearby non-player units in 4 seconds and summon a Servant of Bwam Samdi, so it is an AoE type ability. Just go ahead and click on the Altar of Bwam Samdi and you're good to go. <clears throat> I'm assuming we will be able to get the one of Krag uh, Kragwa as well, uh, which changes it into something else, which is the Boon of Kragwa. Uh, when damaged below 25%, cast Stamina of the Huge. Uh, effect cannot happen more than once every three minutes. Absorb Salmon of the Huge. Absorb 38k of incoming damage. Heal self for 3,959 every one second. So, this is very, very interesting. So, the boon um, for Atar of Kragwa, the boon of Kragwa, that is more of a PvP type of effect. And then the Shrine of Bwam Samdi, which you get from the Altar of Bwam Samdi, which is the Boon of Bwam Samdi, is more of a, if you're just gonna go world questing or doing actual quests type of stuff. Um, so that's actually very, very cool. That is very, very unique, and this is zone-wide buff, so once you're in the zone, you got it. All right, so uh, in Desar Allure, for the last outpost, we are now at the Great Seal, and within the Great Seal, you don't have to look anywhere. Just go to where the innkeeper is. Just go to where you normally are, and you'll notice that there's actually a mission command table here. If you click on that, turn in the quest you now have access to the mission command table at your factions home city and that's actually pretty cool instead of always having to go down south to the ports on the ship to actually use the command table you can use the command table here and only go to the ships when needed for like um war campaign action which is like really rare nowadays but uh yeah i mean you don't have to go there anymore i'm i'm happy about that thank you very much for tuning in everybody that is the horde specific outpost upgrades go ahead and let me know what you think in the comment section down below catch you in the next video stay tuned for some more content peace out